Hola, buenas tardes. Happy Friday. I know I'm posting this a little bit later in the week than I normally do, so I apologize for that. But what I wanted to talk about isn't really, um, it doesn't really depend on what time of the week. This week I talked to you about it because it's something that um, I just wanted to throw out there as an idea and, and some recommendations for moving forward every week uh, for the rest of the semester. And that is uh, ideas for how to spread out your work in the class throughout the week. Um, I know I've talked about that some already, but I wanted to give you some ideas for how you might make the, some of the content of the class more accessible to yourself throughout the week, even if you do have a busy schedule and have to cram a lot of your studying into several really specific study times. So remember, first of all, I want to start with a reminder that the class is expected to take about 10 hours a week. Um, most of you are finding that the homework doesn't take that full amount of time. Um, it'll, it should take pretty close to it. Um, but when but but part of what that time expectation is, is the time also that it takes you to study and memorize new vocabulary and to um, reread material with some of the grammatical concepts that are, are challenging or memorize verb conjugations. There's some of the memorization work that, um, that won't necessarily fit into the assignments, um, but it's still part of what is expected of you as a student in this class. Um, and that's what I want to talk about, how you, how you can kind of start working on some of that earlier in the week. So the class, um, remember that every weekly folder officially opens on Monday, but I do open it earlier. It's always open by sometime on Friday. So like right now it's, it's Friday afternoon um, and the, you're wrapping up week four. And which is due Sunday at midnight, but the week five folder is already open. So what I would recommend is that this weekend, as you wrap up the work for week four, you also start to look ahead a little bit at week five, not necessarily reading the content, but um, doing some other things like finding the vocabulary flashcards and finding the um, some of the audio files that you might be able to save to your phone. So some of you have the Blackboard app on your phone and if that's working well for you, that's great. You can continue to access material on there so that you have something on the go or maybe you have a tablet or a, a small laptop that you have with you a lot and that's great. But for a lot of you, if most of the work that you do is when you're sitting down at your computer and um, sometimes the the idea of needing to log into Blackboard or log into my Spanish lab, just the time that it takes to do that can be a little bit off-putting. And if you only have a few minutes, you might choose not to work on Spanish then because um, you're not wanting to take the time to, to log into one of those programs. So here's what I would recommend is, is either over the weekend as you wrap up the previous week's material or first thing um, at the beginning of the week, you know, Monday sometime, um, find the flashcards, save them to your Quizlet app. Um, the, the flashcards are in Quizlet in, and that those links are all in the course documents area in Blackboard. Um, but save them to your own Quizlet account. And that way, if you install the Quizlet app on your phone, you can have it on the go, quick and easy to access. Um, and then the YouTube videos for the week. If you go into the, the Blackboard folder, find those YouTube videos that I've posted that talk about the different grammatical structures and save them again to your own YouTube playlist. And that way, again, as you're on the go, when you have a few minutes here and there, you can pull one of them up easily on your YouTube app on your phone and watch it. And then the audio files. Um, so there's those audio files that go along with the vocabulary. You can download those files to your phone or to your computer so that again, the idea is to have quick and easy access to those things so that you can, um, you know, take a few minutes to practice vocabulary or watch it, one of the grammar YouTube videos um, throughout the week so that um, for one thing, you're helping to divide the content up a little bit more throughout the week. And for another, you're getting more frequent access to, um, to it and, and easy access. Um, so research shows that generally we learn better when our study sessions are divided up into more frequent, shorter study sessions rather than cramming into, you know, fewer long study sessions. So these are some ideas for tools that you might use to, to do that. And then another idea would be to take the lessons for the week, the way I have them separated out into Blackboard and divide it out. So like one day you do the, the vocabulary, review it, practice it, 
and then do the My Spanish Lab activities that pertain to the vocabulary. Then go to the grammar one the next day and do the grammar lesson the same way. So um, again, the idea is not to sit down and try to hammer out 25 My Spanish Lab activities all at once because um, it's not the best way to learn and um, definitely will not help you enjoy the class. So. Um, I hope those ideas are helpful. Um, think about other things that are more particular to your own unique situation. Um, if you are a non-traditional student and you have kids at home, uh, I can tell you from my own experience and what I've heard from a lot of my students, um, having your kids quiz you on vocabulary is a fantastic way to get them involved and um, and to get lots of practice with the vocabulary. So just think about your own situation when you have time to listen to something, when you have time to sit down and flip through flashcards on your phone and see what you can come up with for how to divide up your studying a little bit more throughout the week as you tackle this class. I hope that's helpful. If you find something that is really um, useful and helpful and you'd like to pass it on to me so that I can recommend it to other students, I would love to hear it. Um, it's always great to hear students different strategies for how they make this work. Um, anyway, have a great weekend and I will see you all online.